Throughout time, people have built huge creations from the pyramids to skyscrapers, from space rockets to huge shopping malls. Some of these creations sail the seven seas. I am oasis of the seas, the greatest seafarer of all. And this is the story of how I was constructed. My royal birth certificate was issued in Finland in the city of Turku on the 1st of March, 2007. That's the day when my story begins. In the end of the year 2007, my first massive element was laid down to the bottom of the dry dock. There are some who complain about their weight, but think about me. Just this small part of my belly weighs over 600 tons. Winter 2008 was a mild one. For me, it was a time of growth. In the middle of March, I received a mighty heart. Actually, six mighty hearts to be precise. These massive engines were placed deep inside my hull. Soon the winter turned into spring and my majestic stature kept growing steadily. were taking shape fast, and soon I got my eyes, too. The bridge was set high above me. In the fall, the final massive elements were lowered on my back. I enjoyed my coronation day. But I also needed incredibly strong muscles to be able to wear such a magnificent crown through the oceans. Luckily, the Azipods I got in October make me one of the strongest seafarers ever. In the end of the fall 2008, my royal body was further embellished with the finest of details. One of the last big blocks lifted on my body was my gigantic funnel. one and a half years old when I was ready for my first swimming lap. It was time for my floating out ceremony. Noblesse oblige. Being the greatest seafarer in the world is not only about supreme engineering and construction skills. 
but also about providing the best entertainment and holiday activities at sea. My guests will have an immense range of holiday activities on board. My only fear is that they'll run out of time before they run out of things to do. To give you an example, just for the children's pleasure, I had a full-size traditional carousel built on board last spring. The carousel is just like the ones my adult guests will remember from their own golden childhood days. And what about my royal garden? Or actually, not only a garden, but a whole new park. My central park is for all my guests to enjoy, from juniors to seniors, from singles to lovers alike. Speaking of outdoors, I must point out that I take environmental protection seriously. And that's why I have, for example, 25% improvement in energy efficiency and carbon footprint compared to my predecessors. Let's stay outdoors a while longer. It was a particularly beautiful day in the lovely archipelago of Turku when I got to sail out to sea for the first time. I loved the feeling of the fresh seawater. At this point, there was just a few months left to my delivery. How exciting it all was! There was so much to do and so little time left. Would they really be able to get me ready for the biggest day of my life? running out, but I got to enjoy yet another trial at sea. During this trip, my amazing entertainment centers, such as the Aqua Theater, were put to the test. Speechless. They really did it. All this in just a few years' time. Can you imagine it? It is time to close my logbook for now and to thank you all. I think everyone is ready and eager to start a great party. Let's have a royal celebration. I wish you all most welcome. <laughs>